I'm doing this video series because there is a 19.1 version of Apex now. I have a complete video series for Oracle Apex 18.1 and the current series will use Apex 19.1 and will follow in parallel with the same steps in the 18.1 series. So I have for software this time XE 11.2, Apex 19.1, SQL Developer 19.1. I will not walk through the steps of installing XE and upgrading to Apex 19.1. You can look at the previous video series and this particular video, Apex 00 of 30, if you want a demonstration of how to install XE and upgrade Apex. The steps of going from Apex 18.1 to 19.1 are the same. So if you want to work along, you can download and install Oracle Oracle XE 11.2, or you can use the most current version, which I do not have installed. You can download Oracle Apex 19.1 and go through the steps of upgrading to that. The one other thing that I have is I have also installed a translated version of Apex for Spanish. So if you're interested in that, you can go to the documentation. It's pretty simple to follow and pretty easy to do. But it's not quite as simple as I've seen on a few posts online. It's not just a matter of selecting a different language. You do have to install a set of support files, images, and other things that will provide the translated version of Apex. Once you've done that, then when you log in and go to, in my case, the local install of Oracle Apex, I can pick between Spanish and English. So if I look at my version of the database, as I told you, if I run this, then I can see that I do have 11.2 installed. I can go to SQL Developer Help About and see that I'm working with version 19.1. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll do in this video is look at the page designer's view of the report page on animals which we modified in the previous video. And it ended up breaking the page for the report and the page for the form. So we're going to edit the report in Page Designer. And we modified it by, by asking Apex to create a lookup or reference table. And then that changed the column that appears in the animals table. We want to also add another column to the animals table so that we can store a picture of the animal and see that in a form. So I'm going to edit the report and get that working, but I will delete the form and just have Apex recreate it. Then we will need to edit the report again because it will not open correctly. It has a hyperlink, an edit icon that opens up the form to a specific record. And that will be broken, so we'll see how to correct that. So I'm going to log into Apex as a developer, Carlo Mora. I'm going to go into Application Builder and then into the application that we have. What I want to do here for List of Animals is just click on that and go straight to Page Designer. Now, if you'll remember from the previous video, if I click on the report on the left side, which is a page element, I see the properties on the right side. If I expand and look at the columns, I see that I don't have dominant breed anymore. I need to see the code and modify the code. So I'm going to switch to SQL Query and click on the icon so I get a full screen for the code. And what we have here is dominant breed is what needs to be added to the code. And I'm going to, let's see, I don't know if this will actually affect the order. We'll find out. I'm going to take out that. I did a copy and remove the comma after date underscore modified. I'm going to come back up here 
and add the DOM breed ID column and add a comma. And if I want to verify that my code is OK, I'll do a validate. And it's successful. And we'll do a save and we'll run and see if that report works. So it's no longer giving us an error message for the missing DOM breed field. I now want to make another change to the animals table. So I'm going to go to Oracle Apex, or actually I could just go to SQL Workshop. I'll do a right click on that, open in another tab. And I want to modify animals. I want to be able to upload and then display a picture. So I'm going to add a column to the animals table. And that's going to be animal underscore pick. The data type is blob. I'll click next and click finish. So I now have a data type called blob or called animal underscore pick and it's a blob type. That change doesn't affect the report. Let me do a refresh because right now the report is not trying to display that field and we're not going to display it in the report. We'll display it in the form. So what I want to do now is I want to delete the form that we originally had, which if I click here, we know it goes from page two for the report to an error message for page three. See, this is page three. Again, we broke this form, broke this page when we modified the underlying table. But what I want to do is, now that I see that here, I want to edit this page. So I strongly recommend that you always open a page, even if it's broken, and go to edit and delete from there, rather than clicking here and looking at what would probably be, you know, 150 pages and deleting something. You might misinterpret the name of the page. You might make a mistake and break things you didn't mean to break. So again, I will come in here, run the application, run the report, get my error message, and then come down to the designer options and go to edit page three. And I'm seeing page three. So now I will delete this page. And I'm going back to the application. Actually, I could do it from here. I could do on the plus sign, I could do a page. So I select form because I don't need a report. I already have one. So if you see page number three and you deleted page number three, then please note, I'm going to change this to page four. I purposely want to break the functionality between the report and the page. So I don't want to reuse that page number. So I'm going to do animal data for the title on my page for the animal form. And then I will select to branch when I submit changes to return to the report and cancel, go to page, the report, and click next. I will not create a navigation. I will get to the form by going through the report and selecting a record in the report. So here we have where we select the source of our data we have the schema, and I want to select the animals table. I will take all the columns as shown, and I will define or select what is my primary key column. Then click Create. Then I can run that, but it will be a blank form. If I go to the report and I select a record, I get an error message because page three no longer exists. So click OK, go back to the report, and edit the report. When I come in to edit the report, I need to change the target. By the way, over here on the left, I'm not selecting features within the report, but attributes of the report. So the link that I have 
is trying to open page 3 and there is no page 3. I will select 4 and then I need to change the target page item which was 3 but is now 4. I type that in but you can also simply select it. Actually I don't want animal pick, I want animal ID and I'll click OK and save that run the report and now it opens up the page, page 4, the report, the form I just created. And I do have an option here to upload a picture. So if you downloaded the zipped files and work along with me, you have some pictures. So I'm going to go in here and pick an animal to upload and apply that change. Now if I go back in, to that record, I don't see that image. I need to do one other thing here. I will edit page 4 and I want to add an item. I want to leave that page item that was created p4 animal underscore pick because that allows me to browse and upload. So I will create an additional item that will allow me to display the picture. So I will right click on items, create a page item, I'm going to call this over on the right hand side, I'm going to call this pick. I can't use animal underscore pick because that page item already exists. And then I will select the option of display image. I then need to scroll down and go to the source. I need to pick the form. I need to select the column, which will be animal pick and the data type comes in automatically. So I click save, go back to my application, run it, then through my report I pick Tori the pit bull and scroll down and I see the picture. Just as a side note, this is not a pit bull. So just because you have all this neat functionality for entering data and displaying data doesn't mean you don't have human error that comes into play. So I picked a little dog and it's classified as a pit bull, which right now is breed ID 15. We'll make this display pit bull in another video. The last thing I want to do here quickly is edit the page and display the primary key field again because it's a newly created page or newly created form Apex hides the primary key so I select it on the left side from the page items and then I select display only and save that oh wait I also need to do the label so this will be animal ID and then PK and I'll save that and run it and come back in through the report. I see the primary key field. I see the picture. 